Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. There's a blaze out there. We're going to go over to the aqua base. Um, got a few things to show you. And uh, should be reasonably short. So this is a wee bit over here before. The last episode I showed you progress is making on the, uh, the monument, the ocean monument. So I put in a rail, as you can see, and oh, no, that's not the Enderman, that's me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I've got uh, some, pro I've got a progress update to show you here at the Ocean Monument. Um, you can probably see some changes there. I've got the water all cleared out. And let's show you what that looks like. And I'm the only one on the server, so I can sleep away the night, which is coming up. So anyway, that's what it looks like. All cleared out. Had a couple deep, these uh, sand areas here. Those are actually deeper areas. They lead down to little caves. I hear some noises down there. I suspect there are some good caverns down there that we need to uh, take care of. I used markers here to mark out where the corners of the ocean monument were. The bottom ones I think are a block too high. I think the actual spawning area goes down one more block and the top ones may go up one more block, but yeah, whatever. I don't care. Because I got plenty of room and I'm not going to use the entire height of the monument as a spawning area for the guardians. I like the pattern that the, uh, the lights down here make on the wall um i was planning on surrounding the whole thing with uh the sugar cane i do not want these these uh oh what happened there i don't really want these sand walls remaining partly because i have a uh spawning issue i the endermen are spawning somewhere and I honestly don't know where because I've got light. This thing is torched up the wazoo, as you can see. So I don't know where they're spawning. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. So I was going to do sugarcane, but then I started playing around with this blue glass. Sugarcane works. It will block the water. The problem with it is that it... Um, uh, the problem with the sugar cane is you can't swim through it. If you swim into it from out here, say, you start dropping. And you can end up falling and hurting yourself. So that's no great. That's no good. Um, so it's not like the water stays in it. And I wanted... And it's pretty... It's pretty fragile. So if, if you damaged the water, the block that the sugar cane was planted in, or the water block next to it so if you plopped another block of something next to it and ruin the hydration on the on that block even though the whole thing is underwater all that all that sugarcane would come tumbling down and the water would just spill in and the stupid endermen keep coming and pulling out a block i think they're pulling blocks out of the bottom where they can reach down here and then all the sugarcane is falling down and then i get little spills and um, so the sugar cane isn't uh, sugar cane wouldn't be a problem I don't think they can pick up sugar cane but so as I started playing around with it I started playing putting in glass and I actually kind of like the way it works oh the way it looks and for some reason this particular spot right here is is the the enemy keep getting this one don't understand don't know why so I put some glass in there I don't have enough glass but I've got plenty of sand as you can see so I kind of like the way it looks as you can see it looks like the water I mean using the blue glass it looks like the water is just there 
looks like he just carved out a hole in the water which I think is kind of cool so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna surround the whole thing in 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 blue glass and get rid of all the sand and then dig down because we need to get from wherever I have to work on the design of the spawning area but it's gonna start you know up ish here ish and I'm wanting I think that I want to have it be I want to be able to switch it on and off which means dispensers a lot of them uh, which is gonna be a little expensive but we can deal and I'm looking over there because there's this little thing over here that I thought was maybe a creeper um, so so then I need at least two spaces of spawning area spawnable blocks. Did you hear that? I don't still have a guardian here, do I? Or is that my, uh, something in my mixer? There might be something in my mixer. Okay. Um, what was I saying? So I need at least a couple blocks of spawnable area for the guardians. It probably will go more than that. I have to look at some designs and see what makes sense. So we need a layer of a grid of dispensers of some sort. Some space for the water to flow down. And it seems like you might need baffles for the water to flow against. So I have to do some testing on that. And then the, uh, and then some something to keep the water in, up in place so that the guardians then fall out. Something like signs or um, fence gates. And then you need a drop and the guardians have 15 hearts. So that means they need like a 34 or 35 block drop. So I'll, I'll need to dig this down a little bit. And I'm going to want to dig it out a bit because if there are any caverns, any more caverns down there, which I'm sure there are, you, I'll need to, to clear those out some uh, and anyway. So so anyway, and then I'm going to put, I had, you know, my entrance, you can't see it down here, but I had my entrance right down here from the tunnel, which I changed to a ladder up from here. I'm going to put in a couple, a pillar over here with a ladder and get rid of this. And then this, uh, these walkways, I will probably use to put in the dispensers, and then I'll tear them out. And I don't, the beacon I'll have to relocate at some point. But anyway, so that's the thing over here. I still have plenty of sand. So, and then along with all this sand, because there's quite a lot of it here, I should be able to make all the blue glass. So it, it's going to be a bit of a project still. Um, it's nowhere near done. But it's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. All right, so hang on a sec and let's go show you thing number two. Because we don't want this to be too long. So, all right, see you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. I really need to do something to decorate up these little tunnels because I've got a lot of them here in the nether and they're just kind of boring. Everything's. Stone brick. I got plenty of stone. Makes sense. I think I've showed you this. I opened up the the room here, put up some windows so you can look out and see what's going on. Watch the ghasts spawn because they spawn out there. Uh, this is my main portal. Most of that remains the same. I dug out this area to go down to uh, reclaim and, and smash smash and Pete's place. Um, again. I try to try to use as much window and glass as I can so you can see some of the nether nearby but then all of this is just inside a big mountain of, of nether brack so this goes to reclaim's place and then smash smash and Pete's place so they can make it in because it's quite a trek out from their place there's a rail there's a minecart rail but and then I dug out this and I obviously still need to finish this. Need to go put in stone brick siding and, and ceiling on all this. Um, but this was just a quickie get it dug out, 
the floor is all slabbed, so nothing can spawn in here. So the torches are really just for, like, whoa, I left a hole. I have to fill that in. And then I did a little bit of here just to get the corner. And then it's another wrong, wrong run down here. It was just me chunking away. Um, one night, I knew where I was going because I found this on the other side of the portal. Let's see what we get. All right. So it's a witch hut. And it's the perfect witch hut. Look at this. It's surrounded by water. Um, probably you're going to need to tear out some of that. But really, there's not too much work to be done here. It's pretty already... The whole area is already flooded. This is kind of perfect. Very excited about this. I think it was generated under 181. So there's no... Um, uh, it's got the, the full-size bounty box. So all I have to do is start building it. Uh, I wanted to use sea lanterns. So I, that's why I'm working on the, the guardian farm first. Uh, that's why I haven't started building out this yet. But it's pretty cool. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's... Really? Why is there a squid in the swamp? Seems like a bad place. Anyway, so this is, this is, we're pretty far out here. We're at almost not, minus 2000 Z. So that's, uh, that's pretty far. That's, you know, we're a couple kilometers away from spawn. And at least it's the middle of the day right now. What's over there besides a pig? Let's go take a look. So this is a nice little swamp plant. I like the lava flows over there. That might be fun to do something with. Um, oh, it's just a little pig island. Hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. You feel a little lost here? There's a bunch of them. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. So anyway, this is going to be nice. A little witch farm action. I want to be able to get the uh, the glowstone and redstone and gunpowder and spider eyes and all that good stuff. So that's uh, and I've never built a witch hut, so that's uh, part of the the process. So want to learn learn how to do. Oh, there's there's a bunch of squid here. Goodness gracious! So yeah, I dug that thing out instead of trekking all the way out over here in the overworld. And home is that away, right? Yep. Uh, and then building a portal, I just from the nether lit up the portal and it put it put it partly into the into the uh, the roof here. So I'm going to relocate this. I may build a platform farther up in the sky, which will be kind of the, the AFK spot anyway. I think since there's only one witch head here, it's not like I have to do a, a high Y waiting area that's in between. And all the drops will come out of here and go up an elevator up to there. So I should just be able to lift this up in the sky and relocate the portal. It should work just fine. So anyway, so that's that. Um, what else was there I wanted to show you? And again, this is all netherrack walls because they're, we're in just in the middle of a mountain. There's nothing here. I don't know how thick these walls are. We might be able to dig out a little bit and find new territory. And some of this might be closer to another fortress that's, you know, closer than the one out there. And the other thing I have to work out is I need a new mining area. I pretty much have exhausted out my mining area. I keep running into other people's stuff, which is no good. So I'm thinking I might do like kind of what Tom did. You know, he built a rail out in the middle of nowhere and started a mine. And I don't need to go as far as he did because it literally takes like 10 minutes to get out there on the rail. But um, 
I might do it out by either out by the witch hut or do it out by the uh, do it by the ocean monument and just start a new uh, branch pine out away from everybody else okay so one last thing to show you hi chickens okay I made a list of the farms for everybody on the server um, just so that I have it documented and we have we have quite a few Oh, there's one other thing I want to show you after I get done showing you this. So this won't be too exciting from the outside, but it'll be interesting to see what it's done. As I said, the Ocean Monument, my initial plan was I wanted to have it all surrounded in sugarcane. Use that to keep out the water. So Vex has a sugarcane farm. I had a small little sugarcane farm. But I figured, let's build a real sugarcane farm. And this is it. Um, I I kind of I started out with the initially was planning on just building one of what I built in my single player. And and I started you know thinking, oh hey, I'm building it in a slime chunk, and literally the, there is a slime chunk in the middle of this farm. Um, so let's. Let's try using the slime block mechanics uh, the way we used it in the, the gold farm. So I, that's what I did. So it's only uh, 16 pistons total instead of what would have been over, I don't know, 150 or something like that to push out all the thing. And I didn't realize, and this is seriously cool, that uh, slime will not push jack-o'-lanterns. So I can use them for lighting. You can kind of see inside. You can use them for lighting. And uh, and then I'm using no blocks for the basic frame. Not all this needed to be. This one needs to be immovable. And there's a couple inside there that need to be immovable. But I like the way the no blocks work, look. And I like the fact that, although this one doesn't, because I don't have anything underneath the note blocks here. If I put something underneath, I think they would play music. I have a, a zombie over here. I have a slime. So my little villager house here is still still going. I can't get them to breed. Um, they act all squirrely. Because I have a feeling they are too close to the village upstairs. It's kind of underneath my little artificial village up there and I have a feeling they're trying to get up to it because they keep running around in circles and they will not breed and they seem a little bit agitated so I I may have to move them from here over there which should be far enough away or I don't know get more villagers or something anyway so let's just see I've, this is all on a hopper clock the hopper clock is over on the back side over there hopper clocks right here I can turn it on and off by throwing these switches I have a full um, I have the hopper clocks are filled up so that it just every now and then they go and there's no bud switches or anything and it produces a pretty much a ton of sugar cane. So this is, I haven't even been hanging around. This is just being on the server. Um, I don't know if this is like in spawn chunk and is always active. But anyway, I don't really need it so much anymore. I still hear that zombie. I don't need it so much anymore. Because I decided not to go with the, uh, the sugar cane around the ocean monument. So I don't, uh, I'm going to leave it here. I'm not going to tear it down, of course, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, don't really need it at the moment anymore. And I used up a lot of my pumpkins here to make the jack-o'-lanterns for this. So these are all, um, these are all empty. Oh, there it just went. Yeah. Oh, there's one right there. Hmm. 
So this uh, these these things just kind of chunk away. It's not super high volume. It's certainly not the most efficient farm in the world. Plenty of pumpkins end up sitting on the ground and despawning. Uh, and being in a slime chunk here every now and then, slimes manage to get, I think it's slimes, but they manage to get over the uh, the fence here. I still hear that zombie. I wonder if I have another cave down below. Um, so you can see, it, you know, it just kind of sits here and slowly produces pumpkins, which is cool. I'd like to make this little area down here kind of self-sufficient. I've got the ability to do farming here so I can grow wheat or carrots or whatever there. I've got plenty of stone, of course. So there's one, one in aspect of the design of that that was kind of interesting. You could probably just by looking at that figure out how it was built. But So I'm not going to do like a tutorial and there's, unless there's a great clamoring for it. Uh, it. It is a smaller farm and... The slime blocks don't increase the efficiency at all. So still plenty of sugarcane ends up sitting and despawning. So let me let me show you something here. Let's switch over to my creative world and let me show you what the inside of the thing looks like. And you get to see kind of what's going on. Because I tried to save on hoppers in addition to pistons. So hang on a second. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back everybody. This is what the inside of the sugarcane farm looks like. I'm trying to remember what that is up there. I was building something. Anyway, so this is this is pretty much it. I've got um, pistons on the inside. I've got note blocks here. These are necessary because when the slime block pushes out, we don't want it to try and move any of that. And I've got two layers which fit inside the space I had in the basement. Well, one thing you'll see, I've got this glass here. So I ended up, the slime blocks launch the sugar cane so fast. It's funny. Um, let's see here. It's This is coming. Um, and we will add a skeleton wander in. So I was getting sugar cane getting launched and it was getting launched all the way over to the other side here. And I didn't want the sugar cane to get launched off of here, end up on the f ground over here and then despawn there. Seemed kind of silly. So let's see. That skeleton just despawned. Interesting. Okay. I don't know how long this is going to take. And of course, if I go over... And look at the hoppers to see how long until it fires. It'll fire while we're doing it. So we're going to sit here and stare for a minute. So as you can see, I've got water flowing over packed ice into a central channel. And then I've got half slabs here, but I used pressure plates inside the farm on, uh, in, on the server. To transport the sugar cane along out into the uh the chest where it ends up there are some problems with using this method of conveying it the sugarcane oh there we go see how that fired out it's pretty funny so anyway the sugarcane moves pretty quickly but you see i get stuff just kind of sits there and anything that comes out from here directly up to where i'm using the half slab here just ends up sitting on the slab or if I have the pressure plate down there it ends up sitting on the pressure plate so stuff that comes along here has enough velocity will make it underneath the slab but it's not I don't know it's not this isn't great and I played with a lot of different uh, tried to make a lot of changes here and just couldn't couldn't get it to couldn't find something that was that just worked reliably unfortunately so um now i was playing around with this because i wanted to test elevators so this is glass elevator the line runs underneath here up to there comes up to this water stream here through the glass and then the water stream comes and it shoots out over here to these hoppers and let's see let's get some sugar cane So let's go and uh, 
watch the sugar cane come out here and most of it does woo well I say that and I threw a bunch of pieces I threw 14 pieces of sugar cane there and only one looked like it came out but anyway so it comes out and most of it ends up in here some of it ends up in here be quiet I'm trying to record a video here um, so you can see I get stuff I get stuff sticking it's not super high efficiency but the stuff does come up there we go and go along and shoot out and it is getting picked up by the hoppers so this is kind of a fun let's clear this out oh oh there's more oh the farm must have just triggered all right so let's go let's go throw some more here so you can see I got eight there and some look like what there but that that was all of it that was I threw eight and I got eight back out so anyway it there is some loss along here just like there's some loss of sugarcane sitting on the uh, it kind of falls and just sits on the ledge there so it's not it's not a 100% efficient farm but it works and it's pretty cheap uh, it's pretty cheap especially if you have access to a uh, to a slime chunk so you can get enough slime blocks uh, so anyway, that's uh, woohoo! There we go. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, I wouldn't mind improving this situation some. I was experimenting with using slabs and stairs and other things for the water to try and encourage stuff to flow out better. And I'm thinking if you need to pick up as much of the items as you as you must as you can, a row of hoppers is you just can't beat it. Um, but I was trying to avoid it. So we have exactly one hopper here. Oh no, no hoppers, no hoppers here at all, except from the hopper timer, and these guys over here. So, yeah. So this is kind of a trial run to see once I start getting items out of the witch farm or out of the guardian farm, I want to know how I'm going to get them. Cause that's that's kind of just kind of cool to watch so i want to make sure that i can kind of get them uh get them out again so so anyway that's that i think that's what i want to show you here so one last thing um let's get back to the server and i will be right back with you okay so welcome back as you can see here there have been some changes Vex has been working on his monster castle. And I have my view depth set a little bit low, so that's why stuff's just rendering. He took out the, the, the huge tower on this castle because he wasn't doing anything with it and it blocked the view of the new castle. So, let's go back up there. He's made a lot of progress. It's, uh, it's very impressive. This, this is how you get down to the uh, zombie farm and the spider farm. Um, if you want to get back down there. You had to move things a little bit. There we are. It's difficult to get a good view of the whole thing. Uh, here's the lobby. You put a bunch of armor stands, which freaked me out the first time I saw it. I uh, completed the library. Which is very nice. Uh, it's worked on the fountains a little bit. It keeps playing with the color of the carpet here. But the impressive thing is downstairs. In the dungeon. Look at this. He keeps playing with it. So this is the dungeon. He's got some mobs here trapped. 
he's got them name tagged the creeper was a little bit of a challenge but uh he got it there's a witch and a spider and a skeleton up there they can't see through the iron bars so they don't uh they don't freak out uh and then these things on the side mobs sometimes just spawn in them including this guy who he then name tagged and kind of got trapped in here and he can't seem to teleport out so uh, and i'm kind of surprised i guess he can't see through the bars so he can't teleport you know out here into the room but anyway he sticks around so he's got a pet enderman which is kind of impressive oh hello so he's got a little lava pit here and a mob farm up there and let's see here which way is which and there's a little altar he's got a sacrificial lamb which is kind of sick um so we were trying to put a series of hoppers underneath the lava the lava is lifted up there's signs underneath it and um, so there's space between the lava and the hoppers um, but and I was I was thinking that the the mobs would end up burning up but their drops would drop below the lava so they get picked up by the hoppers mm, pardon me uh, that happens every now and then it doesn't happen very often So he put a little door up. You have to be a little careful because sometimes when so many of them come down at once, they uh, they jostle each other and they manage to get out of the lava, or they do that. So, so you see, one of the creepers dropped something. So I think what's going on is the mobs are swimming in the lava. And, uh, and it just depends where they are in their bobbing cycle, whether or not they're in the lava or, or not. It's kind of annoying. So we don't get very many drops here, but that's not the point. It's, it's a lot of fun to come down here and watch the mobs <laughs> burn to death. So it's kind of his little mob, mob farm in the dungeon. I think this is very cool, um, and he's, he worked hard. The 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 head, the face, skull thing there went through a lot of iterations. I think he got it pretty good. Um, it's a uh, it's got nice nice depth to it, and uh, it's got a nice nice design to it. And it definitely reads as a skull on the. The flaming netherrack in the eyes is a nice touch. So that's Bex's dungeon. I think that's very cool. I just wanted to show you that. So anyway, that's uh, that's what I wanted to update you on today. So hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you enjoyed watching things grow because they've been they've been slowly evolving. We're making progress on stuff. And uh, I hope you're having a good day. And I will have more stuff for you next time around. So I will see you later. Bye.